Hello world, welcome to Lifecraft. I'm your host, Jer Ander, and today we're going to do a little bit more digging. I should check my piston. My piston? My, uh, my uh, pick situation. Oh, I've got plenty. Well, plenty. Oh, that's a hole. Plenty for now. Plenty for now. Um, I'm going to stick to this level for right now. This is the first level. We have seven corridors that spring off from this level and no doors. So I did the rolls already, and I, I'm going to start here. And this one turned out to be, well, let's make our decision point. All right, that's done. Now, this one turned out to be a side passage, and the side passage went to the left six blocks, and ahead, no, left eight, ahead six, both of them are three blocks wide. So, this one's eight. One, two, well, I should do the ceiling here. And eight. Um, then this one went ahead six. We've got one. Again, I should do this because we're pretty close to the surface. And six. Okay, now... I'm going to dig these out, but I'm not going to finish the walls yet because I'm going to leave these permeable. Do you remember our little talk about permeability versus impermeability? Because I finished off these walls, they are impermeable. Imp impermeable. That means if something connects with them, it will dead end. But if I leave these perme permeable, then if something connects to them, then they will actually connect and we can transfer through. Does it make sense? Maybe, maybe. Um, I'm going to dig these out anyway, and we'll see in a bit. Okay, this is dug out. We did not hit the surface. That's a good sign. I just threw my pick for no apparent reason. Now we need to go grab a... Well, let's take a look. Where's our next one over here? Where is our next one over here? It is actually over here. Now, this one also turned out to be a side passage. Um, but note that our connection point is only one block. So that goes right there. And we are going ahead five blocks. And five. Now it actually turns to the left and goes three blocks. So here's our decision point. Like so. Oh, cool. Excellent. Like so. And that, that, that one's done. Next, this end, um, we need our decision point right here. And this had a door ahead with no other doors. So that's gonna, the door's actually going to go right here, and I need to go grab a door. What if I have any doors? I can make doors. Uh, I don't have any doors. One, two, three, four, five, six. this and don't worry I'll close those doors in a moment oh hey let me and you go right there done now this area is still permeable so if something happened to connect during this time that would work out just fine for them they'd interpenetrate and probably enjoy it so there's three of them number four number four is a big one and it's right over here So first we make our decision point, like so. Now this one is a chamber, and it's a complicated chamber, it's an octagon. Um, I don't know how to build an octagon. Well I know how to build an octagon, I don't know, it's 500 square feet, so that's pretty small. And I failed to do my math ahead of time, so I'm going to have to do it now, I'll be right back with you. Okay, 500 square feet is really small. Um, it is basically essentially a circle that's 12 in radius, and 12 is going to be three blocks on either side. So I'm going to take the center right about here, and so it's going to be. Let's yeah, let's get to the center. So this is this is going to be one, two, three, four. So then I need to go this way, three.
And on a small scale like this, octagons and circles look very similar. Like this. Like so. So now, I think we want three on a side, don't we? So this will come out here. Oh, not that way, this way. Now let's dig out the cross. Let's uh, mend my pick a little bit. So we're going to go here and here and here. Now if we look at these corners, if I take out this bit here, it'll create a diagonal along there. Does that make sense? So that's this is our octagon. I mean, this is it. It's tiny. There's a chance of an unusual size, but we did not get an unusual size. So this is our octagonal chamber. Um, do we have any exits? Of course we do. We're going to have an exit to the right, and it goes 12 blocks. But I'm going to switch sizes. Um, the, it's it's going to be three, a 3 by 3 to the right. So it's going to be this way. So it takes up this whole wall. And how deep is it? It is, tw oh, I said 12 blocks. Okay, so I'm going to put the start of that right there. I'm going to dig that out in just a moment. The other one's the opposite wall, and it's only one block thick, and it is going to be 11 blocks deep. So it's going to go right here. So I'll put that right there. Um, this ceiling will be four blocks, this ceiling will be three blocks, and this ceiling will be two blocks. So I'm going to get that digging done, and we'll see in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Um, this is the, the one wide corridor, and we hit some... Cobblestone slabs. I put these there, obviously. This is what I do when I cover up something. So we've got a bit of dungeon right there, and I don't know what that is. But we're really close to something. Huh. We may figure it out. We may never know. Something up, but probably something down below. Hmm. What would be there? So where are we? Yeah, I... Uh, oh, maybe part of the staircase. That may be it. Anyway, uh, this chamber is done here. Oh, this one needed to be like that. All right. One more corridor to go. We'll see in a bit. Okay. This area is done. Well, you know, it's laid out. It's roughed in. Hi, everyone. I'm back. And uh, note that I have fancy new duds on. I'm not going to explain to you where I got the duds because that will be explained in the next three episodes. Yes, three. There was There were things that happened. And uh, they're coming up. There's a little bit of a time, uh, timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly thing going on here. You'll just have to ignore it for now. Um, so if you want, you can just pretend that I'm not wearing fancy doves if that makes it easier for you. Also note, I have a fancy pick. And this was a gift from Witherbag, which happened in those three episodes. So thank you, Witherbag, for the pick. Um, now, I also did some recording, and I lost the footage for... Don't ask why. It's embarrassing. I'm not going to talk about it. Maybe I'll, I'll leave it in my journal. Um, we did do this. You saw this one. This is the octagonal room. Um, normally in a, a special room like this, I would leave a two thick wall, two block thick wall, but I didn't account for that when I was digging out this wall, and honestly, it's so small. It, it may have special materials, but I don't think the materials are going to be two blocks thick. So that's that. Next, I did this corridor, and it turned right and went ten blocks. Very simple. This one, this one was more interesting. This one had a special quarter, and that's why this is so wide. Um, we did a little bit of calculation, and in order to... Okay, this, the result was two columns, two rows of columns in this corridor. And it was 50 foot wide in the book, but 50 foot wide is 15 blocks wide, which is far too wide for a quarter. So, here, at least here in Minecraft. So what I thought was, I'd put have a row of columns here, and I have a row, row of columns here. That would allow one block gap behind three block gap in between, and one block gap on this side. So that's that's where we got this from. And it's also four, four blocks tall, so that um, we'd have room for the columns to actually make sense. And then this one was just a three by three quarter, with, and we intersected a little uh, noodle, noodle cavern. Are they noodle caverns? Something, something. And it's very short, and it just goes up and reaches the surface in two different spots. I put torches in just to, to, to make it like that. And we got disconnected. So yeah, that's, that, that's a good way to start. Now we have one more location. 
and that is over here. And this is going to take a little bit of conversation. Um, I'm going to get ready for that conversation. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, so let's talk trick traps, because that's what I rolled in this area. Um, a trick trap, as we've decided before, is going to be a redstone contraption, and I'm going to do my best to adapt the ones from the random tables, but not all of them do... Uh, not all of them do uh, translate very well. The one I got here first was a secret door. Now, if we look around here, there isn't really a place for a secret door. Um, it, it just, I couldn't figure out a way to, or a place to put it that would actually make sense. So I rolled again, and I got a 20 by 20 elevator room. So that's going to be a room that's uh, six blocks by six blocks, and it goes down two to five levels. That is very difficult to do in Minecraft. Um, there may be a way to get a room to drop using a flying machine of some sort. I don't know how to do that. So if you do know how to do that, we may be able to adapt it in the future. But since it is an elevator, I figured I can use drop shafts and bubble baiters. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we have to do is create our junction point, which is a 3x3 three three area. So that's two. Like so. Now, it is a 20 by 20 room, which is 6 by 6 blocks, and this enters on the 4th um, from right. So that means, so this is the right, so it's going to be all the way over there, so that it actually cuts in this way. I'm not sure I want that. Wait, hold it. Is that right? Yeah, that, that, that's got to be right. I think this is, oh yeah, that'll be part of the wall, so that will have to come out eventually. I mean, now. So... It's going to go this way. So we need three more blocks in this way. I'm just check I'm just thinking this through. I want to make sure I'm doing this the way I thought about it. And see, this is going so much faster now that I have this pick. Thank you, Witherbag, again for the gift. I appreciate it. And so we need to go three more block back this way. Three more black. Like so. And then here. I do this right? Maybe. Yeah, that, that looks right, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And it is a four blocks high because it is a room. Like that. All right, now, the exits I determined from this room, and it is a room, so I'll have to put a door, I think, in the wall. So we may have to push this back one more that way. I think so, because mm -hmm, we could put it right here. We could put the wall right here. I think we'll do that. So that's that. So then there's there's one exit from this from this room. Uh, oh, this is going to come out too. One exit from this room, and it was a corridor on the opposite wall that was three blocks wide and 13 blocks deep, and it was third from right. So we've got one, two, three, four. So right here, this position. Like so. That's three by three, and it, I said uh, 13 blocks deep. 13 blocks deep. So I'll dig that out quick, and we'll see in just a bit. Okay, this corridor is dug. Now we need to determine where the bubble baiters and the um, drop shafts are going to go. Now, I could include them in the area of the room. So if we have a wall back here, is it going nighttime? It's going nighttime. Ah, refreshed. Okay, now, we need a drop shaft and a, and a, a bubble vader. And the result I got was an elevator room that went down two to five levels. So there would be options to stop at second, third, fourth, and fifth. So what I'm going to do for the first one is just bring it down two levels. And as I was saying, we could have the drop, uh, the drop shaft and the bubble vader within the circumference of the room. And as, since we're doing random things, I think that may be the way to go. It, we need at least three blocks high in order to do this. Or we can take them and push them back outside the wall. So we could cut something in, you know, a couple blocks and have the drop vader. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe I'll do this. I think I will keep the room itself 
20 by 20. So then we'll need a wall, and then the vaders, be, the vaders and the shafts will be beyond that. So we could put one here. I think we could. Yep, we certainly could. Put one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have 11 spots. Um, I did not generate any um, rolls for this, so I'm going to roll 11, and we'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so the, the drop uh, drop shaft going down, whoa, let's do that instead. Okay, is in position 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll cut this back, and it'll actually go down right there. And we'll have to build out some walls, etc. around that. Now the bubble baiter is going to position, th position 3. 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be right here. Which works out okay, I think. Um, we'll have to decide what we're going to do with this ceiling up above. What I think I'll do is I'll finish out this room. I'll leave this portion open to the court or to the natural generation. But I think I'll put a ceiling and slab it, uh, not slab it, but top it off with some stone. So it doesn't, so you can't really see it there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think. Anyway, so next thing to do is dig this thing down uh, two levels. And we are currently on, let's see, our F3, 65. So two layers down is going to be 12. So that's going to be 53. So I'll get on that. i get some ladders so I can do it. And we'll see in just a bit. Ladders in hand. We're going to go down 12. And I'm going to dig straight down. I've done this before. It'll be a lot faster, too. And so I have 12 ladders, so this should be perfect. We are 12 down. Now to recreate, recreate the room that is up above, down there. And just to get my bearings straight, so this is actually right in the corner. So I need to go forward two blocks, and that'll become the first corner of our 6x6. Six six. So two blocks this way, and this is the corner. 6 by 6 means 5 more in each direction. 2, 3, let's hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure I did this right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this one should be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. Clean this out, like so. Then the next one is six, so three, four, five, six. Ta-da, perfect. We'll put one there, put one, oh, we've, I think that should be enough. Um, now, I'm going to clean up the ceiling. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we are, oh, I don't wanna, oh I broke something danger of a good pick. Okay, so here we are. Um, we need one below this, one below that, and one below that. Because this is two down, so we need to go three down, four down, five down. And we'll have bubble vaders and drop shafts in between each one. We'll also have exits from each one of these rooms. And I think I'm going to generate the exit first. And because I was still thinking this out, I have not done so for this level. So I'm going to do that quick, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are. I need one exit from this room, and since it is a room, it will be a door. Um, it's going to be on the right wall, and since both of these are on this side, and I'm marking these ladders right now as the um, bubble vader, and this one is going to be the drop shaft, I think. So it's going to be the right wall, which is right here. It is uh, on position... Hold on. It is on position three. So one, two, three. So right there will be a door. So I'll put a torch in there. Um, next, we need to determine where the drop shaft for the next one is going to go down. And we, where can we put it? We can put it there, there. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16. So a 1 to 16. It is 3. So that means 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be our drop shaft. I need to sign this up, so right there. Now, we, for the bubble vader then, we have um, how many positions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So randomly generate a number between 1 and 14. 3. I'm getting a lot of 3s. 1, 2, 3. So right here. Like so. So I should have brought more ladders, and I'll need some science to start. Yeah, so this is the drop shaft, that's the drop shaft. That's a bubble vader, that's a bubble vader. So bubble vader, let's put in a ladder just to mark it for now. I need more ladders. Um, if we're going to dig this down, we're going to have, yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. Oh, let's double check our, our F3. Hi. 53, perfect. Okay. I'm going to get some more ladders, and I'll be with you in just a moment.